Hi, and welcome to this Fornav coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornav and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the go to webinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today we are going to get started with Fornav in Business Central Cloud, or SaaS as it is sometimes called. To demonstrate how to get started with Fornav in the cloud, I will set up Fornav in a brand new Business Central sandbox. Please be aware that the installation of Fornav in an on-premise environment is different from the installation of Fornav in cloud-based systems. With cloud-based, we mean every Business Central system that is hosted by Microsoft. To determine if your Business Central is cloud-based, please check your Business Central URL. It should start with businesscentral.dynamics.com. To demonstrate how to get started with Fornav in a Business Central cloud, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step 2 I will install the Fornav customizable report pack. In step 3 I will install and set up the Fornav designer. In the fourth and final step I will set up the Fornav customizable report pack. Let's start with the first step. Today I will install Fornav in the Business Central sandbox that I have just created. In this sandbox you need permissions to install new extensions from the marketplace. You also need permission to install software on your PC as the Fornav designer is installed locally. The installation of Fornav Cloud starts with the installation of the customizable report pack in your Business Central tenant. This will install everything you need to run, edit and create Fornav reports. And to install Fornav reports, I need to go to my Business Central tenant and go to my setup and extensions and in my list of extensions you will notice I don't have Fornav installed yet so I'm going to do so and in order to do so I will open the extension marketplace which brings up the Microsoft App Source and in the App Source I can simply search for Fornav or search for the customizable report pack and both will lead me to where I need to go and in here I can select free trial and give Microsoft permission to, to use my account information and install which will take me back to Business Central where the installation is going to take place. Now I have a multiple uh, Business Central production environments and sandboxes I'm going to install for now in my Coffee Break sandbox. Business Central will now start the installation. I can choose my language, which is English by default. And if I install this, Business Central will install the extension in the background. So if I click OK, and I can go back to where I was before, and select my deployment status, this will now tell me that the installation of the customizable report pack is in progress. Whilst the installation of the report pack is in progress, we can download and install the Fornav Designer. You can download the Fornav Designer from the Fornav website. And you might have noticed that I have the Fornav, Fornav website loaded already. In the Fornav setup, Fornav website, you can click download. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can click to download the latest version, which is 5.2.0.1924 at the moment. And select file, save file. Now I've done this. I've, I've downloaded this file earlier today, uh, so we don't have to wait for it. So I'm just going to run this. And if you run the Fornaf setup, you end up with the uh, Fornaf setup installer, where you can accept the agreement, select your installation, and I'm going to select my installation, the full installation. And the full installation covers the, uh, the designer, the converter and any add-in that I might need. Click next and I'm happy with the desktop icons so I'm just going to click install. And once this is done, I don't need to open the readme page at the moment but I do, do want to open the designer. Once the Fornaf designer loads, the next step is to connect it to the business central tenant so I can read table and field information, load and save reports and manage extensions. In order to connect to Business Central, uh, when you open the Fornav Designer, you get a splash panel 
with a great big button called connect to business central and if I click that it takes me to the 4nav settings and I can edit my connection string the connection string is where 4nav stores all the information that it needs to connect to your business central tenant and if I want to edit it I can simply edit it the connection name is just the name of the connection so you can find it later in the list of all the connections you have made you can use any business central or NAV version from 20, 2013 upwards of course we're using cloud today so I'm selecting cloud and in the connection type you can connect either to your business central cloud tenant or you can connect to a local extension project folder in, Vis in Visual Studio Code which is usually reserved for developers today we'll use the connection to the business central cloud if we select sign in for now we'll sign in to our business central tenant after which I can select my environment which is of course going to be the coffee break environment and I can select the company that I want to use once all of this is done I can select test which tests my connection to business central and right now it says my settings are valid just click OK to get out of these screens and right now just to give it a simple test we can open a report from the server which gives, uh, gives us the full list of all of the FNAF reports on this particular server after installing the FNAF customizable report pack you can set it up so the FNAF reports get added to your report selections you can add your logos, payment notes etc so let's go and have a look at that if we go back to business central you will notice that my installation of the customizable report pack has been completed so from my business central start screen I can, I can go to my setup and extensions and in setup and extensions I can go to my assisted setup and in the assisted setup I have a 4NAV setup if I click this the 4NAV setup wizard will open which will guide me through the 4NAV setup process the first step is to add a payment note which you can print on your reports which we'll call please pay and some legal conditions that will be printed on your reports as well in the next step you can select the VAT report type you can select multiple lines which will only print VAT lines when there are multiple VAT percentages in your reports you can select always or never let's select always for now then I can import the document watermark a watermark is a PDF file that gets integrated in your report so I'm going to use this standard for nav watermark and if I just open it you will notice this is a simple PDF file with a cogwheel image and some uh, some square boxes so let's select this I can import watermarks for list reports uh, portrait and landscape as well which I will skip for right now and I can import a company logo by default when you import a company logo FNAF asks you to use a PDF file and this is because PDF files can be vectorized so when you zoom in on the image or you uh, make it bigger the, the image will still be very crisp of course you can load any type of file so you can use a PNG file as well I will go with my PDF file for now then hit the next step of my FNAF setup where you can replace the report selections which I do want to do and I don't need to create a FNAF web services in uh, Business Central Cloud replacing the report selections replaces all of the standard Business Central reports with their FNAF counterparts I click next and that's it I'm now ready to finish the setup which will set up everything as I wanted it to be if I go back to my main starting window you will notice that I have a new 4NAV menu option and in this 4NAV menu option I have my standard reports which gives us the list of the standard reports in the 4NAV report pack the my reports which are any reports that you've created yourself and the app reports which are 4NAV reports that are embedded in third-party applications so let's have a look at the standard reports and the standard reports gives us a full list of all of the 4NAV reports to check if everything has been set up correctly I'm going to quickly run the invoice which I can run straight from the 4NAV reports list 
and let's preview this. The first time you run a 4NAV report in a sandbox, Business Central will ask you if you really want to make a request to an external service. 4NAV uses an external service in order to render the reports. You want to click Allow Always. You won't get this message on a production environment. So when I run this, I get the preview and of course I have my uh, logo here and if you zoom into it you will notice that the logo stays very crisp and it doesn't get blurry at all like some pictures do. You will notice that I have my invoice with my payment terms which are please pay and my legal conditions right at the bottom. I have my VAT because I want to, I've set it up so my VAT always displays and I have of course my PDF watermark which is now embedded into my report. If you want to make any changes to the 4NAV setup you can simply go to the 4NAV setup page in Business Central and in this 4NAV setup page you can change anything that you have uh, added before so you can change your payment note and your legal conditions and your logo. You can also decide if you want to inherit the language code uh, if you set this to yes then your reports will be printed in the languages of your customers and you can choose to, pr to print on pre-printed paper in which the 4NAV reports won't display the logo and the watermarks when you print on, uh, on the printer. So let's recap what we just did. We have installed the 4NAV customizable report pack in our Business Central Sandbox. Then we installed the 4NAV designer and set it up so we can edit 4NAV reports. Finally, we ran the 4NAV setup wizard in our Business Central Sandbox. We replaced the report selections and added the logo and the watermark. Thank you for listening to me so far. Jan, do we have any questions? So far not. So let's give people a chance and uh, move to the next slide meanwhile. So if you want to know more about this, uh, please visit our website. If you go to download or to app source, you can actually uh, try this yourself if you haven't installed it already. Um, and I mean, when it just showed how to do it, so that should be very easy. Uh, on youtube.com uh, we have our um, uh, channel with a lot of videos of course including all of the coffee breaks uh, and a couple of other uh, videos and if you have any technical questions please address them to support at and the next slide please so um, on our website, fanapp.com slash coffee break, you can see the full list of previous uh, coffee breaks as well as the ones that will go uh, on throughout July. And there's also one planned in late August. And finally, if you have ideas, please share them with us. Um, suggestions for, for new coffee breaks uh, are more than welcome. And um, we also have a small prize for you if we select your choice or your suggestion. We will send you a, a small gift card. And still no questions, Rene, so I think we are good for now. So thank you for listening and thank you to you, Rene, and have a good day, everybody. You're welcome. Goodbye.